What's going on guys? Welcome back to Maypole. We are back finally here for another episode and today what we need to do is start by let's check on our chickens. Uh, let's, okay, no, we don't want to do that. We want to do this uh, as soon as it's done saving. There we go. And we are good on the food and everything. I went ahead and slept through the night so we should be good to go. And uh, yeah, so that's all good. And, uh, let's hop in here. How's everybody doing out there? Hopefully you're doing wonderful. I'm doing fantastic. Today, we're going to go ahead and start some, uh, silage processing going on. So, just take a little drive over here around to the farm. And, uh, trying to think of what... I want to use as far as a tractor so let's see what do we have for our mower equipment here what what did I what did I say oh there it is okay all right so I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, park this up probably next to a tractor that we have so how much horsepower does that combination takes. So if we go into mowers, we have 120 and 60, so we should be good. If we go into our tractors here, let's see, can the Kubota do it? Yes, the Kubota could do it. So I'm thinking maybe we run our Kubota, which we have two of them, so. Um. This is the small one right here, I believe. Where's the other one? There's our class. Where is the other Kubota? Is it packed here? Uh, parked back here? Yes, there it is. Alright, so what we could do is... Uh, yeah, we could just park this... Right back in there. out of the way and then we'll get our mowers and actually wait a minute didn't I plow all the fields yes I plowed and, and all of that so we actually we need to we need to seed the fields yes so do I have the am I I'm not doing precision farming on this one that's right okay so we need to line the fields First. So let's go ahead and do that and um, let's actually use this one right here. Let's use the class and we'll get our lime and get to liming the fields. Now if we, if I remember right, I think the lime spreader is over this way. Yes, here we go. So I'll just start with the small one. So we can do the uh, small fields first. This is the problem with uh, doing so many series at one time. I, uh, <laughs> I kind of forget where things are and uh, what I'm, you know, where I'm at as far as the uh, stage of the field. So I think what we'll do is we'll just we'll park this. Possibly, actually, we could probably just drive this down to the down to the line point. Is do we have a line point on this farm? I don't believe so. Okay, so store is just down the corner here. We come out and make that left hand turn, so we could buy a line there, or. I don't think there's a line fill point on this map. So yes, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll have to go down to the store. So let's um, let's actually just leave this tractor here, and then let's go with this Kubota over here, and we'll. Uh, hook up to the flatbed trailers and take those down to the store and pick up some lime. Um, 
thinking maybe one or you know I'll just I'll take both trailers I'll just I'll take both it's not a big deal there we go all right so let's head on down to the store and pick up some lime and I'll see you guys down there here in just a second all right we're here at the store and we need 14,500 liters basically of lime to get these fields done so if we go to lime here these are 2,000 a piece so if we go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 there's hold on did I did I do that right <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 and then we'll just grab an extra one and make that 16,000 liters oh it says it right here wow I'm an idiot Anyways, <laughs> so let's see, that's going to cost us $2,800, or, sorry, pound. Uh, so, yeah, let's pick those up. So I actually only needed one trailer, which is fine. So let's go ahead and get this. We are set on big bags, and we'll go ahead and activate the auto load on that. There we go. All right, we are set. So let's get back over to the farm. And uh, let's get that spreader loaded up with some lime and get things rolling. Let's actually go back into first person because it's much easier to see driving down these tight roads in between these trees and hedges uh, from inside the cab. So... Yeah, let me get down to the farm again with all this lime, and we'll get loaded up and start spreading some lime on the fields. All right, we're back, and we are liming on the field. So I went ahead and threw some lime down on that small field over there. Just took a minute. Just actually, it was actually one pass right down the middle, and this thing had a spread big enough to cover the whole field. So that's awesome. Now, let's see. We need... See, that's... Uh, what field is that? That's 68. So that's one of our fields that we have to lime as well. So we'll get over there to that one. So yeah, this, uh, this thing has a massive spread on it. So it should make pretty short work of doing these fields. Now the only thing is that it's burning through it pretty quick. Because we're not using precision farming in this playthrough. So, you know, I just wanted to go for something a little bit more laid back, simplistic. Uh, with some good starting equipment on this one. Absolutely love this map though. It's a beautiful, beautiful map. Alright, we are out of lime already. So we need to go fill up, uh, fill up with this and get back to it. So I think what I'm going to do real quick is just knock out the rest of the liming and then uh, bring you guys back when it's time to move on to the next step. All right, we got the fields all lined up, and now we are going to just probably detach this right here where it's at for now. I'll handle that later. And from here, let's get into first person view here so we can see just a little bit better. From here, we're going to go ahead and start cutting the grass uh, that's, that's grown already. And then I'll worry about seeding the other fields uh, later on once... Uh, once we get some silage going here, I just want to get some grass cut so we can get the silage going. So we'll go ahead and get backed up to the other half of the mower here. Alright, so let's see. We need to go to... Oops. Let's back up just a little bit so I can get out of here a little bit easier. There we go. So we will come around here and take care of this field first. Hopefully this will make it through the gate. Pretty sure it will. Oh yeah. Um, wait a minute. This isn't the field. Which, which field is it? We have 86, 67, and 90. That have grass on it that is ready to be cut. So if we go back out. We'll 
we'll just leave that open for now. So if we come around here and then come out this way. No. I am so lost on my own farm. What is happening? So if we go this way. And then to get to 90, I believe we go th Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. There we go. To get to 90, we come over this way. Yep, yeah, there's the gate for it right there. Alright. Well, let's get, uh... Get that opened up so we can get in. Probably have to close it so I don't clip it right there, but... Not a big deal. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Now it's closed. Alright, so let's uh, go to the outside view here so we can kind of see what we're doing. So let's go ahead and unfold that. And we'll go ahead and unfold that as well. And then we'll go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and turn that one on. And then probably start right over here. Yeah, right here in this corner should be good. And then we'll go ahead and drop the rear mowers down. Right about there. And then we'll switch to the front here and get those dropped down as well. So there we go. We should be all good. I'm not going to worry about GPS on this. Uh, just going to get these fields cut. And I'm not too concerned about getting all the way up to the edges. Not a big deal at all. We'll get plenty of grass off of these fields as it is. You know, like that right there. I'll just avoid the trees. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. We have plenty of fields to uh, cut grass in. So we'll definitely have plenty of grass. Alright. Probably do, I don't know, two headland passes. And then start the up-downs. I mean, I suppose I could have just put them on a course play. But, uh, we only have the one set of mowers, so it's not like we can really go cut another field while we're doing this, unless we go buy another set of mowers, and, uh, kind of don't want to do that. I, I am considering the, the crone, like the actual mower, the, uh, that, that, it's in the vehicles, the, the crone one. I'm thinking about doing that at some point uh we probably have enough for it right now as far as money goes so that's something to always look into actually i'll take a look at it here in a minute so like that little spot right there not super concerned about it i can always go around and touch up the little areas here and there all right so we'll get uh Actually, we could probably... Uh, yeah, let's just do another headland pass. And real quick, while I'm thinking about it, let's hop into vehicles here and let's go to the mowers. And this, this crone right here. Now, there's also this one right here. But this guy right here is 380,000 pound. And... Yeah, I think, uh, I think it would be pretty good. So if we were to go to Michelin and GPS... Looking at $395,000. We definitely have enough for it, but we want to leave some money in there for uh, property maintenance costs and all that stuff. Vehicle maintenance and everything. Uh, as well as fuel, buying lime, seed, fertilizer, and all that. So, we'll just, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Uh, we do need to get some cows. So, we may end up doing that in this episode. We'll go ahead and buy some cows, possibly, and just buy some cow feed. Um, because I, I don't have any, any crop growing for, uh, you know, TMR mixing or anything like that. So, definitely have to 
get all of that rolling. But until then, I could. I think I actually installed the TMR pallets. So I could just buy pallets of TMR for the, uh, for the cows for now. And uh, that'll hold us over until we get some uh, food going for them ourselves. Now I also need to figure out where I'm going to put that TMR mixer station. Uh, or I could just do the old uh, TMR mixer trailer. I don't know. There's a couple of options to go with. So this time I'm just going to keep going straight. There we go. And we'll come back and get that little area right there. This is definitely getting a lot, getting it done a lot faster than what I'm dealing with on the multiplayer server and crossplay. So <laughs> I just have a small front deck mower. There we go. So yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you, uh, you guys would like to see done on this episode. Uh, I definitely don't want to mess with pigs <laughs> right now. Uh, because Western Wilds, they're just really doing nothing for us but eating up the money in our pocket uh, as far as food. So... All right. We'll go ahead and take care of these little spots right here. There we go. And then we'll whip around, start taking out the rest of this little strip right here. So we've got three big fields to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a cut here. Coincidentally, cut, cutting grass. Anyways, uh, yeah, so I'll make a cut here and bring you guys back whenever the fields are done being cut. All right, you guys, we are back, and I got the fields all done, and I got some hay bales made here. So we're going to go ahead and take these hay bales and put them into the uh, cow barn so we can get those going. I probably could have just pulled the whole thing in there and dumped it in there, but... That's okay. Uh, I had planned on doing the silage bales next, so I went ahead and dropped them off, but... Uh, yeah, so... Should be able to just drop these right there. Yes, and then they go in. Alright, so those are going in. So I went ahead and put the bales over here, instead of where I was originally going to put them. So I think this will work out just as just as good. I'm trying to pick them up three at a time, just to get it done a little bit faster. But I did end up buying uh, it was like thirty cows, I believe. So we got a pretty good amount of cows going in here. I don't know exactly how much this is going to fill this up, or if it's going to fill it up at all. But we will see. So it looks like. Let me just go to the outside view here, because it'll make it a lot easier. There we go. Pick that up right there. And I could go buy some TMR, which actually, let me check in here. If I go to pallets... Uh, where is it? TMR, TMR, TMR. This is all net wrap stuff, twine twine. Maybe I didn't put it in this one. Maybe it's in the big bags? Yeah. Big bags. There we go. Total mix ration right there. So I could put that in there. Uh, but we have the hay bales, so let's go ahead and just drop these in. See, now it just makes it hard to see. See, I wonder if I could just drop it right there and it picks it up. Yep, it does. Very nice. Alright, so... Let's see if we can get all three of these, or at least these two right here.
Doesn't look like I'm gonna get that one. That's okay. So hopefully you guys are enjoying all of the series we have going on on the channel. There's a lot of variety happening. Uh, plenty to choose from as far as viewing. Um, I'm having an absolute blast playing all of these different maps and everything. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit different than, than what I typically see on YouTube. You know, it's, most people do like maybe one or two different maps and, uh, and leave it at that. But there's just so many good maps out there that I, I, I just, I can't just pick one or two. Like, yeah, these maps are just all amazing. Absolutely loving it, enjoying it, having a blast. And, uh, you know, you guys seem to enjoy, really enjoy all the different series going on. So, you know, I appreciate all the views and all the support and everything that you guys have been showing here on the channel. All right. And we'll see where this puts us at. And we may end up using another field of cut grass as uh, hay bales. Because I don't think this is going to quite fill this up enough. But it should be enough to at least just get us by for right now. Let's see if I can get all three of these. There we go. Now we're cooking. Oh, no, no. Uh, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Alright, so let's drop this down. And let's see if we can get that one spun around there and then we'll drop this one we'll drop this one right next to it on this side and then maybe try to get this one on top Okay, this is this is just not working. Let's see what happens if I do this. We'll do that. And then lower this down. And stab it all. There we go. Now we're doing good. I mean, it looks like crap. But, you know, hey. Let's get these dropped in here. Very good. Tilt those forks forward, see if we can get all three of these this time. Alright, so that is 9,000 liters. I don't know if that's just the two bales that are on the spikes or if that's all three put together. Because uh, the bales should be about 4,500 liters, so that would be just the two bales. There we go. And is it going to take that one? Yeah, there we go. Just wasn't quite in the right spot there. Oh god, there's a wall. It's probably a good good thing that I didn't put uh, wide tires on this this tractor. I don't think I did wide tires on any of them. Maybe I think I maybe maybe yeah maybe the big class I did. Tilt that forward just a little bit. Go ahead and pick these three up. Yeah, next time I'll probably just drop the whole trailer of bales in there. Oh, that, that worked out perfect. They just slid right off the spikes. Alright, last three. 
And we should be good to go for now. That'll hold us over until we can get some TMR. No. Okay. <laughs> I am not going to try to... Oh, God. Now I'm hitting... Okay. Everything's just going south. Let's just... Let's... Give me, give me, give me. There we go. Alright, so hitting the brakes hard that time didn't work. Alright, so I picked up that one. This one's too far out, so let's move this one in. Oh, come on. Boy, this bale just does not want to go in. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Let's go this way. Drop it right there. There we go. Now it took it. Holy smokes. Alright, last bale. And that is... That was 23 bales. I didn't quite get 24 bales out of that field. Uh, field 90. That's over at the other cow pasture. So I think what I'm going to end up doing probably is just... Dedicating this field and the other field at that cow pasture for hay bales. And then the other ones for uh, silage bales. And then we'll look into purchasing another field or two for some other crops. But uh, let's take a look in the animals menu here and see where we're at. Okay, yeah, see that just barely put any food in there at all. So we'll have to uh, run up to the store and pick up some, pick up some more... Um, food form so we'll probably just do TMR bags for now until I can get around to getting the production of the TMR going so we'll go ahead and just drop that there and we'll take this weight back over to where it was uh, after we park this right here so we'll go ahead and drop that right there And then the weight goes right over here. Right there should be good. Alright, so we're actually going to go ahead and park that fence. So I'll go ahead and get it washed and parked. And then we'll run down to the store while we still have a little bit of the day left here. Let's uh let's go ahead and undo those and let's reset those straps and I'm just gonna move those right around the corner here. I believe it unloads to the right. So we could probably just go ahead and unload. Okay, it unloaded the other way. Anyways, so let's uh, let's go ahead and run up to the farm or to the farm store. Let's just uh, bob and weave our way through the farm here, tight quarters. It's been a nice little challenge though, getting around the farm with all these little tight little pathways and everything. So we'll go ahead and take this up to the store. And get some TMR, and then I'll meet you guys back here at the farm. Alright, we're coming back up to the farm. We went and got our TMR. We got uh, 16 bags of the TMR, so we'll go ahead and throw all 16 in there and see where that puts us on the level of TMR. Should, uh, should, should put a decent amount in there for us at least to get started, so... Just go ahead and on into here both trailers 
And there we go. So we'll go ahead and just sit right here. Let them all unload. First trailer's done. Second trailer's done. So let's see where that put us here on TMR. So 15,999 liters. Still just barely put a dent in this thing. So, But that should at least hold us over for a little bit. We need to get some straw going and all of that. So... We'll worry about that. Let's see. We have 77 pieces of eggs. Uh, so we got some eggs coming in at least. So for now, let's see if I can get out of here. Get around. Actually, let me just auto load. Yeah, let me just auto load this stuff back onto the trailer. There we go. Go ahead and disable that. And then I think what I'll do is unload them right there for now so they're out of the way at least. Go ahead and take the straps off of that one. All right, so let's go ahead and just park these trailers right here, I think. And then uh, I'll get all this equipment washed up and parked up. So go ahead and just park this right here for now. Oh, I left the beacons on. Oh, well. But that is going to do it for this one, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to comment down below with any tips, tricks, and suggestions. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I appreciate you watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.